Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to do this makeup look that I'm wearing right now. This is definitely um, a Valentine's inspired makeup look. I would say it's a mixture of like soft and bold at the same time because the eyes are, you know, we're using soft colors like pink tones but we do also have like a bold lip happening as well. I really do like how this look came out. Um, I love Valentine's Day. Um, my fiance and I, on Valentine's Day, we usually go out for dinner, just the two of us. And we really do cherish these kind of moments where it's just us two. I mean, like, we don't have kids right now. We do have a dog, um, but you know, we both work, we have busy lives, and um, we definitely love celebrating Valentine's Day. He always gets me flowers and chocolates. Um, and usually he gets me like some kind of piece of jewelry, like a bracelet or a necklace. And we definitely do go out for dinner. So Valentine's Day, you know, if you don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or fiance or a husband or a wife, you can definitely celebrate it with your friends. Go out, you know, um, for dinner or for lunch. Even go shopping if you want as well. Honestly, I think Valentine's Day is just a great day to spend time, extra time with your loved ones and do something special with them. So if you want to see how I created this Valentine's Day inspired look, then keep on watching. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to be priming my face. I did put a little bit of moisturizer earlier, like a, from Garnier um, with SPF 30. But I'm going to be going in with primer and I'm going to go in with my usual e.l.f. mineral infused face primer because... It's like my favorite one so far and you can get it at your local drugstore as I always say in all my videos and it's pretty inexpensive as well. I'm going to be going in with my Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base and I'm going to prime my lids with this. I am a little bit under the weather today. I have a cold, so I'm sorry if I'm sniffling. I'm trying my best not to, but please bear with me. So I'm going to just quickly prime the lids. And of course, I use my beauty blender to blend it all out. And I put a little bit underneath just in case. Okay, so we're going to go into the eyes first. We're going to do our eyes and then uh, the foundation. In today's video, I'm going to go in with a BH Cosmetics palette. So this is the palette I'm going to go in. It's called the Nouveau Neutrals palette. Um, I think the colors are so beautiful inside. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to be using three colors in this palette. We're going to go in with the, um, the lightest blush color that they have. And what we're going to do with this color is we're just going to basically put it all over our lid to set the primer that we just put on. So we're just taking the lightest shade right now, working with that one. I'm just using like a thick eyeshadow um, brush from Shoppers Drug Mart, which is um, a drugstore that's close by my house. And I am just taking this really light color and just buffing it all over my eyelid. And it does help to set the eyeshadow base that we did put on. Okay, so next we're going to go into our crease. So the next color that we're going to be working with is the second one below, which is just a little bit more bold. It's more pink. It has a little bit of shimmer to it. And we're going to place that all over our crease. I'm going to just bring it a little bit closer to the brow bone area. Not all the way, just a little bit. Okay, so next we're going to deepen up the crease uh, with a little bit of a darker pink color. 
So going back into that same um, palette, we're going to go in to this one right here. It's a little bit darker, not too much, and it's also shimmery as well. And we're just going to deepen up the crease with this color. I'm going to be going in with a different um, eyeshadow brush. It's this one right here. Um, it's actually a crease brush. It's a little bit thinner, more pointier at the top. Um, but yeah, I just because we really want to get into that crease. Uh, I'm going to be using a light hand for this because I want to build the color up. I don't want to start too, like, too much right in the beginning. And we're just going to really focus in, um the color just into the crease. We're not really going to bring it up towards the brow bone. We're just going to keep it in the crease area and then we're going to blend out both colors afterwards. So we're going to take that bl our blending brush, a clean one actually, and we're just going to blend the two colors. So this is more of like a soft eye look, nothing too crazy, nothing too like really bold. Um, it's more on the subtle side, which I like. I might do even like one with a bold eye color look, but you know what? Sometimes I just like to go in with like soft colors. And yeah, I think this one's coming out pretty nice, really nicely. It's coming out nice. Okay, so we're going to come back to the eyes because I have to do my um, eyebrow color and my inner tear duct. But we're going to go in with foundation and I'm going to go in with my usual Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And I always use it in the color 115 Ivory. And I'm just using my favorite foundation brush by Sigma. Okay, so next I'm going to conceal my under eye and a few different parts of my face. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Eraser Dark Circles and I'm going to go in with the color Ivory. I actually switched my brush because for some reason that one, I don't know wasn't working really well. Um, it's actually a foundation brush but I don't use it for foundation. I actually never use this brush because I, ever since I got my Sigma one a couple of years ago, that's like my favorite one. And honestly, I think this is perfect to do my concealer as well. So I'm going to now um, set my entire face, the foundation and the concealer. I'm going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix um, powder in the color NC20.
Now I'm going to use my Kabuki brush to set the rest of my face. Okay, so next I'm going to do my eyebrows, and obviously with the, I'm going to go, I was going to say with the power of editing, but first let me show you what I'm going in with. You already know, because I'm using the same one. Uh, it's my Essence Eyebrow Pencil. It's getting smaller and smaller and, well, shorter and shorter because I'm using it all the time, and I use it in the color brown. I think it's 02 brown. Okay, so we're going to do our um, brow bone and our inner tear duct, and I'm going to go with switch palettes for a second. I want to go in with this one by CoverGirl. It's the True Naked Nudes palette. Um, I'm going to use the same shade. Um, it's I love it. It's so pretty. It's this shimmery shade right here. So it's the third one in, and it's shimmery, and it's so beautiful. I hope it's focusing, and I'm going to go in with my brow bone and my inner tear duct with this color. Mm-hmm. Yes, perfect choice. I am really happy with this. It just, I feel like when you put a bright color, it's like the cherry on top. It just finishes the whole look. We're just going to put a little bit, just a little bit on our brow bone. So for this look, we're just going to leave the lower lash line. We're not going to put any eyeshadows on, but we are going to uh, line our waterline. I'm going to go in with um, a, an eyeliner pencil by Essence, and I'm going to use it in the color 08 Teddy. So it is like a brown shade. Okay, so next I'm going to contour my face. I'm going to go in with my Studio Pro Contour Palette by BH Cosmetics. And I am going to use... Hmm, I'm going to mix these two colors together. Okay, so next I'm going to do blush. I'm going to go in with a color in the BH Cosmetics palette. Okay, so I'm going to go in with, I'm actually going to mix these two colors together uh, for my blush today. Mmm, such a pretty color. It's like definitely subtle, but you can actually build up the color. It's really pretty. Okay, so next we're gonna do the lashes. We cannot forget that. Um, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara in the color Glam Black, and I'm going to uh, put that on my upper lashes. Okay, so for my lower lashes, I'm going to go in with my usual L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in the color black. Okay, so next we're going to highlight the face. I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics Kylie Barble... Barble, oh my goodness. I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette, and I'm going to use my usual color right here to highlight my face.
um, on the bridge of my nose. Oh no, the tip of my nose, not the bridge. The tip of my nose, because I just love it there. A little bit on my Cupid's bow and on my chin. So for today's video, I'm gonna go in with a new one that I got from Sephora. It is their cream lip stain, and I'm going to, and the color that I'm using is called Always Red. Okay, so the last step will be um, setting my entire face. I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Setting Spray. Alright guys, that comes to the end of my Valentine's Day inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope you learned something new. I had a lot of fun doing this look for you guys. I absolutely love the bold lip look that I'm that's happening right here. I did use my new uh, red lipstick by Sephora. It came in one of my other palettes. Um, but yeah, I love how this look came out with like the subtle pink eyes and then you do got your bold lips. Uh, you could definitely do a nude lip as well with this look. You don't have to do red. Even a nude color look, uh, lip would look great with it. And also, I don't wear false lashes, but this look I think would look so pretty with false lashes so you can definitely pull those out um, if you have any but um yeah I had a lot of fun doing this look for you guys and that is about it I will see you guys in my next video Mwah. see you guys later